216 Parker. Nice quiet street. Don't hear any uh, loud highways any anywhere around. Houses are pretty well kept surrounding us. A dead end street, so low traffic. It's our driveway here. Looks like it's a little overgrown with grass. I didn't see any damage in the roof. Looks good. There's actually another dip in the driveway here. I wanted to make this our driveway. D dip in the curb, I'm sorry. Foundation and siding look good. I don't see any damage cracking. Old unit, but the ductwork inside looks good. Decent size yard. Backs up to other people's backyards. Has deep, pretty good privacy and it's quiet. Back side of the roof looks good. There's no kind of door out the back or any kind of back porch. There's a side door here that goes into the kitchen. And this path looks like it's a dead end. Kitchen, living, dining room go from side to side in this house rather than like front of the house to the back. So down there's the living or dining area. This is the living room. All the drywalls in great shape. Don't even see much damage. Nice big living area. And then this way through here is the dining room. Looks like they've got actual new light fixtures in almost all the rooms. And then kitchen back here. Or over here. It's a decent sized kitchen. Has a floor plan that we could open up. You can do everything in here.
All the windows are old wooden. So the floors all seem very level. Don't see any problems with that. And back here are three bedrooms and a full bath. The first bedroom. Nice big bedroom. Plumbing looks good throughout the house. I don't see any leaking. It's all copper. Here's a full bath. Shared bath. Only full bath. Nice size though. It's really yellow. Tile's in decent shape. Smallest of the three bedrooms. Actually, they don't have a new light fixture in this room. Some of the rooms they do. And the third bedroom. That's it for this floor. Into the basement. This is a uh, nice and tall and very nice big open area. It seems dry down here. See two sump pumps down here. One over in this corner. And then one in the opposite corner back there. Oh, we're over here, look at. I need a new unit, but the ductwork looks good. Washer dryer hookup, hot water heater, all copper coming off, pretty good shape, a little bit of rust at the bottom here, electric panel, wiring and the panel look pretty new, that's a 200 amp panel, there's the other sump pump, So I'm not sure if this waterproofing is good. It's pretty dry down here. All the wood joists down here look good. I don't see any mold, moisture, rotting, or termite damage. <coughs> 